It's that time of year. How to make fake blood in a blender. Hey, there's some great science to this as well. Here's how you do it. First of all, in a blender, not your blender, your friend's blender, you need some sort of base, right? And when I say that, I mean something like juice. Cranberry juice is a perfect base to be able to do that. It's already nice and red. Now to that, you're gonna have to add food coloring, not drops of food coloring, a lot of food coloring. So that's why we buy it in the big container here. Oh, probably about an ounce or so of the food coloring. Now by itself, that's not great. So we need to thicken it a little bit. That's where our corn syrup comes in. So about a cup of that corn syrup, that will be perfect. And now if we blend it up like this, it's not very blood-like, it's more, I don't know, it's not, it's like candy. So what we need to do is to mm, change the way that light travels through that. And one of the secrets is cornstarch. So a big scoop of cornstarch in there. That's gonna make it so the light doesn't travel through as much. And a little bit of chocolate syrup. Now chocolate syrup is what they used in the movie Psycho, right? Because it was black and white. But it's perfect for here because it's, that's looking really, really good. Look at that. That's looking better. Look at that. And now, <laughs> one more. We need to have the secret for me anyway is this Hershey's cocoa. That is perfect. Got it? So now you just have to play with it a little bit. If it's a little too red, then you're going to add. Oh, look at that. That's good. Oh. That is perfect. And why do you want to do this? Because it's. Halloween and it's going to be great anyway. Look at this. And of course online I had to find a little syringe to make it look good. Give it a test here and see what it looks like. I think ladies and gentlemen that is fantastic. It's fake blood for Halloween. Why not? I'm Steve Spangler. A little gross, a little demented and that's your Halloween Science Minute.